Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name's Josh, thanks for joining me today. I really appreciate you being here. Yesterday we dropped a video about Adam McIntyre and we had a big conversation about this whole Colleen case and it just, I literally, it was in my head rent free all night long. Couldn't stop thinking about it and I'm just going through my head like, and it pisses me off because she got away with this and if it was a dude who did this, if it was a dude creator who was doing the exact same thing, asking him to take and send me pictures of your butt or sending them used underwear or any of these types of things or asking about their sex life and all the shit that has come forward since then, they would have been canceled a long time ago, okay? And because she is who she is, she gets away with it and it makes me angry. And so obviously I'm gonna do a little bit more of a deep dive into Colleen Ballinger as a whole, just because she deserves it. She deserves to be called out. And I can't believe more creators, more big creators aren't doing it. And some have, and some will continue to do so. And I hope this is a spark that ignites, that shows these people that they can't just get away with everything, right? She feels she's untouchable because she's gone through so many scandals and here she is still making millions of dollars on the internet every single day. And so what I decided to do was go back to this video that Adam touched on, which was her major apology video after the first video bombshell shit happened. And let's go through it. Now we know what we know because I didn't know all that stuff. And so as I, cause because I'm a blind reactor on here, I don't really do deep dives into things and I kind of learn as I go. It's kind of, and you do too. And it's kind of, you're doing that with me. So let's take a look at this video called addressing everything and to see, and let's see if she addresses everything. All right, let's go. And as I said before, Colleen is emerging as one of the biggest villains of YouTube today. She's gotten away with it, again, because this world is different, because the world was always in favor of women. Women aren't generally the people who do that, but they do do it. They do, they are predators, they are sick in the head. And Colleen has made millions and millions and millions of dollars off of her Miranda Sings character. And in my opinion, that Miranda Sings character is actually part of who Colleen really is. It's not just a character. There's some deep shit inside of Colleen that comes out in the Miranda Sings character. Right? Because it comes so naturally to her. I was watching some of the videos of Miranda Sings, one of the most recent ones, where she's sitting down and the things that she spews is so natural to her. Yeah, there might be a bit of a comedic part to it, but there's something inherently that in my gut that tells me that Miranda Sings is basically what Colleen Ballinger really is, but she puts it out there as comedy so she can get away with it. Now, everything is emerging now, but what she did at the show is kids reaching down the pants, talking about prawn and all these things and girls' boobs and all this stuff. And now that we know that she's been in multiple chats with teenagers all over the place who are her super fans and having basically adult conversations with them, asking them to work for her, asking them for their advice, venting to them, um, weaponizing them against others who are against her. That is crazy that she had a little army of stands do her bidding. Unbelievable. Okay, and now it's all out there for the world to see. And this guy, Corey, is, is under the hammer. He's deleting his Twitter and everything that's going on. He's being called out. Everybody in her circumference is being called out. And it shouldn't surprise you that this type of asshole will team up with another type of asshole like Trisha Paytas for their podcast. These, these two people are peas in a pod. Okay, they've made their entire fortune on the internet being assholes. And now they're both child exploiters, which is how they both got on my radar. They are not better, they are not good. And I've read so many comments on that video with Adam and my, um, then I've read so many videos on my post with Adam about how like I used to like Colleen, I liked her, I can't believe this is happening. Like, really? You didn't see this? And so maybe that's how she really got away with it. You didn't really see it. You didn't wanna see it, cause she's a female. And that's misandry, or misandry, or whatever you call it, okay? But that's the way a world works. It's not fair, but it's the way it has gone. And now, shit's being uncovered. So, now we know what we know. Basically, the story of Adam and what happened with her. She had to make this video based on that video that Adam released. And he remember, he said that she, she threw his parents under the bus because she didn't have the option to throw a minor under the bus. So, let's watch this together and snark on it. She's so snarkable because the and the more and more i think about it when i asked adam i'm like do you think she just is smart and he's like no i don't think she's that clever and i tend to agree with him now so let's watch this hey guys i know this is not my typical video that you are used to seeing but recently some things have come up that i feel like i need to address and so i just wanted to sit down and have an honest conversation with you and address everything at once so let's get started the first thing i want to talk about is something that is weighing the heaviest on my heart right now the video has resurfaced of my sister and i from 14 years ago uh, we were teenagers and in this video we are doing characters that are latina and the 
I saw that video. And yeah, 14 years ago. I'm not going to throw shade at her. Teenagers do that stuff. And I get that. She, the, the, It's the pile on, right? And I understand that maybe you did something when you're a teenager. It was stupid. We all did stupid shit when we were young. But I think it's the pile on, right? It's not just that she was making fun of Latinas and everything else in that video with her sister. It's that... That on top of that, on top of this, on top of that, on top of sending, you know, on top of everything. That was just one more thing. What people are seeing emerge is a pattern. And so when you see the when you see the pattern emerge in later in life and she hasn't really changed, then you go back to see what she was like when she was that age. And what it ends up being is that she hasn't changed at all. That's that's why people are doing that. Characters are completely based on racial stereotypes. It is not funny and it is completely hurtful. I do you think it's funny? I am so ashamed and embarrassed that I ever thought this was okay. I was a sheltered teenager who was stupid and ignorant and clearly extremely culturally insensitive. Racial stereotypes are not funny. They are not a joke and they should never be joked about. A few years later, we... Did... And again, remember when Adam was saying that the stands are helping her write this shit today to help her write this? Because that was bullshit. All she had to say was it's comedy. Look at any comedy from the 90s, you know, early, late 80s, early 90s, even early 2000s. There were lots of racial stereotype comedians out there doing racial stereotype comedy, and it was funny. It is funny. Lots of black, white, Hispanic comedians do racial comedy. It's funny. So that isn't even the deal. I think she just needed to start it with that because everything was kind of compounding. And I, I don't think so. I don't think you need to apologize for shit you say if you're a, com a literal comedian doing things in the 90s. Otherwise, damn, we wouldn't have movies like White Chicks, which is hilarious. It's one of my favorite movies when they're in the... When they're in their hotel room, and they're doing like the, let's do the hair and shit, and then they have the, the you know what I'm saying, they have the thing, and they laugh, he sticks it in his mouth. Oh my god, when I first saw that, I almost died. Made the video! <laughs> <laughs> but Netflix took that part out! It's the funniest part of the movie! We realized how stupid and hurtful the video was, and we deleted it. Not out of fear of getting caught, but out of fear that someone would find it and it would hurt them because... Oh, you're lying. It's out of fear of getting caught. Don't lie. It's, it's wrong. I have grown and learned so much from my ignorant mistakes as a teenager, and I've done everything I can to right my wrongs. So there's another lie. Everybody take a drink when she hear a lie. This was three years ago, I think, so that's a lie. And now we know it's a lie because yesterday when Adam uncovered all the new things that she was doing, all those new things that are emerging now were done after this apology video, everybody. So everything she's saying in this video basically is a damned lie. And YouTubers and famous people all over the world would do this, okay? They don't care about the apology. They aren't actually sorry. They're just doing this? To, so they can continue making money on the internet. That's it. Nobody that apologizes on the internet for real. Like, I mean, some do. Okay, some do. But for the most part, when they make these shitty ass videos that have that are nothing like who they really are in any of their other content, and they're just like reading off a piece of paper that someone wrote for them, that is disingenuous. It's all a lie. Right? Because if they were sorry, they would have changed their fucking behavior. Right? Okay, uh, it was I think it was bits of bish. I put her house on there because I wanted to see how close she was to a target, right? Didn't even realize how stupid I was for putting that on there. Immediately deleted it because I realized, oh shit, that's stupid. And then I didn't do it again, nor would I ever do it again. But you know how I'm sincere in my apology? It's because I did not repeat it, nor would I repeat it. She apologizes for all these things, and yet I bet you there's gonna be some receipts that come out that are probably worse than that video. Okay, probably already has been released. Now this video was brought to light right after I had posted a video on my vlog channel last week with my friend Todrick talking about racism and how it is still very much a problem in our world today and how we need to fight against it. People were saying, how dare I talk about racism when I said these things 14 years ago? And to you, I said- And here's another way to pinpoint whether or not it's true or not, the apology. When they keep reiterating how long ago it was or like some little minuscule point, they're like, you know, when I said these things 14 years ago, don't forget I said it was, don't forget it was 14 years ago. Years ago. Don't forget I did this 10 years ago. Don't forget it was this. Don't forget I was a teenager. Don't forget all this. Okay, then don't apologize. Because if you keep reiterating that little tiny point, it means that like everybody's picking up on that. I mean, you should be picking up on that. Right? She wants she's basically diminishing it by saying that thing. If she was truly apologetic, she'd be like, look, I said some shit, should have said it at the end. Sorry. Instead, every time she repeats it now, when I was 14, when I was 14, when I was 14, that. That's crazy. That's not a legitimate apology. That is the exact reason why I should be talking about racism and why I should be standing up against it. Because I was one of the dumb ones who said that stupid thing and grew from it and learned from it and realized how hurtful it could be. Liar. You're a damned liar. 
you're a di- and now like now that we have hindsight which is crazy that we have hindsight it's it's very rare you get to see videos for the first time with hindsight I'm glad I do blind react commentary because I know what she's like now based on the released documents and this whole shit she's doing is a damned lie and we can see it. Holy shit. And now I want to right my wrongs and make a difference so that other people don't make the same mistakes that I made when I was a kid. Another video popped up recently. There it is again. When I was a kid, when I was a kid. Was she a kid though? And it was done a long time ago, but she keeps repeating when I was a kid, when I was 14, blah, 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 all this stuff. So again, don't ever forget when you hear an apology, when you hear them justify it in the language, it means they're not sorry. That I want to address, and it's a video that I filmed 12 years ago where I talked. There it is again about taking a flight and an overweight woman sat next to me and I talked really negatively about her and it's awful. And I watched- I didn't know that existed. <laughs> Again, I don't know all this shit existed. Now should I go watch those videos? I don't this know. This clip and I was appalled and shocked that those things were coming out of my mouth 12 years ago. Oh, uh, there, <laughs> there it is. And I was appalled 12 years ago that 12 years ago I did this thing 12 years ago. Even I was appalled at the time I was doing the joke 12 years ago, 12 in my 20s, that I did that 12 years ago. Even I'm appalled that I said, that. are you, then why did you post it? <laughs> you freaking idiot. She's so bad at this. Because that is not the woman who I am today. I'm That's 12 years later. Such a huge advocate for women and women's bodies and loving every shape and every size. And the fact that I talked negatively about someone who was overweight is absolutely disgusting. To you know, another reason why this is fake is because she's speaking about this almost in third person. She's admonishing her younger self, but it's almost like she's taking her. <laughs> I don't know how to say this. It's almost like she is someone else. She thinks she's not that person and she's admonishing you 12 year old ago lady. I hate you. And she's trying to like, I don't know how she's doing this in my brain. She's like admonishing her older self and saying I'm above it now. And how dare that person did that? Uh, uh, Colleen, that's you. <laughs> you idiot. That is you who did it. And so that's, I don't know what that term is in psychology, but there's a term for that. Disassociative something or other blame of, I don't know, but it's definitely deflection. Disassociative deflection. <gasps> did I just TM something? Anyway, that's basically what she's doing here, right? It's a third, she's third person outer partying disassociatively blaming her younger self by saying like, I'm not that anymore. How dare that person did that? Do you guys see that? I, am I in the matrix right now? Me. Something else I want to talk about that has been brought up. Third apology. Here we go. Is that when I was three years old. I, oh my God. I was bit by a dog. I needed to go to the hospital. And when my mom told the doctor that a dog had bit me, the doctor said that legally the dog needed to be put down. Now, the clip of me that is circulating from seven years ago is me talking about this situation in a very insensitive way. When in reality, when our dog was put down, I was really upset. She went from saying a dog to our dog. Don't forget, there's something wrong with this girl's head, right? Maybe, look, I'm not a psychologist, but when I said at the beginning of the, when I said at the outset of this episode that there's something about Miranda Sings that is Colleen Ballinger, do you think there's something, if she's using disassociative language to admonish her younger self, do you think there might be something wrong with this girl's brain? Do you think Miranda Sings is actually Colleen Ballinger too? I'm not saying she's multiple personality disorders. I'm saying there's something wrong with this girl's brain. Right. And maybe she didn't get help that she needed and it turned her into who she really is. And she's actually this like 15 year old kid stuck in this 50 year old lady's body. I don't know. Why does she only make friends with teenagers? That's a question we can ask. Is she arrested? Is she developmentally arrested and as a teenager and that's who she gets along with? That's who she relates to? Is that why our comedy is so shitty? Because it's made for kids? I don't know. There's some shit emerging right now about who she really is. And maybe someday she'll come out and say, look, guys, I have like six personalities. I don't know. That shit's popular on TikTok. And over the years, I have addressed this a few times in videos talking about how guilty I feel, how upset I am that this happened. Still to this day, as a 33-year-old woman, I feel guilty that our dog had to be put down for biting me. But in this clip, I talk about the story in a very dramatic, silly way, because sometimes, unfortunately, I use humor to talk about things that are actually extremely painful for me. And and that's what comedy, com and that's what comedians do. Okay, so I mean, comedians. I don't think she's funny at all in any way, but. That's, you know, it's comedy is subjective like art, like beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Some people find that funny. She obviously, obviously, she's 10 million subscribers on Miranda Singh, so clearly, and had Netflix specials, who clearly people think it's popular. So that's just my opinion, and that's not something I hold dearly, right? But 
she's where was I going with that? I don't know, but I was something something good was coming out of what I was about to say, but I forgot it. So just assume that something cool was about to be said. This is an example of that. To anyone and everyone who is hurt or offended by the statements I made when I was younger, I am so, so sorry. I <sighs> haven't brought this out in a while. It's my stalker's violin. But this, it's time. I mean, it's been a little while since we brought this out for somebody. And uh, it, it, for this fake apology, it requires us to play the tiny stalker violin. Finn, shut up, Colleen! You dickhole. If you know, you know about the stalker's violin. Here we go. I hope you all can see that the person who I am today is so far from that ignorant person I was over a decade ago. Hindsight comes back. This is three years ago. We now know what we know now, now, know now. She knows we now know what we know now. Liar! Liar! Damn forehead wrinkles on fire. You damned liar. I, th I think you guys know that I'm better now, and now we realize, no, you weren't. You got worse after this video. After Adam dropped the bombshell on you, you went nuclear to try to ruin that kid's life and discovered that you probably broke the law through not asking to record. That's t in a state that requires two parties of consent, by the way. Just saying. Just saying. Just saying. And to those of you who might say, well, I knew better when I was that age or 14 years ago, I knew right there it is again. from wrong. Take a drink every time she tries to disassociate and put herself 14 years in the past. I'm so glad that you did, because that means that there's one less person making those stupid mistakes. That oh, I made. my I God. Did you just say that? Holy shit, Colleen. Better. And I didn't. And I'm it's like she's a, again. I think that's why she's developmentally arrested at a young age. She's trying to convince us by using very, very immature, childish type arguments to try to weasel her way out of this. Do you guys see that? Very interesting. She's Her logic is super young, if that makes any sense, right? You ever see a kid try to get in trouble or try to justify or lie their way out of something? That's what this is. They're trying. To, she's trying to tell you what you want to hear. She doesn't believe any of it so she can avoid the trouble that's coming. Interesting. Parents who are in this chat who are watching me right now, you guys know what I'm saying. Teenagers, you, you we know, okay? But parents who are parents know what I'm saying right now. I'm extremely embarrassed by that. I'm really hopeful that I can be used as proof that people can change and grow and learn from their mistakes. Shut if you up. you to speak up when you see someone doing something or saying something wrong, it can make a difference. It did make a difference. Adam spoke up to the atrocities of what you did to him and it made a difference. But the only thing it made you do, it didn't create a difference in your behavior. Of course, you made a shitty fake apology. But did your behavior change? Did it make a difference? No, it ruined Adam's life for a long period of time. Okay, he, His friends turned on him. His, fa his fans turned on him. Your fans turned on him. A lot of people turned on him. Even people that were close to him in his real life turned on him. You didn't. You don't mean anything you're saying right now because probably during this and after and right before this video, you were in that chat maliciously doing dirt. You damned dirt. As I grew up, I learned that those words were hurtful and I stopped using them. But there are still people in our world currently who she are saying racist, homophobic, sexist, body shaming things that need to stop. They need to be called out because they can change. I'm living proof of it. But it's okay to content contact teenagers, talk about their sex life and stuff, ask for butt pics and send them lingerie. That stuff's cool though. Cool. Spare me the selective outrage, asshole. And my ignorant words from my past just make me that much more passionate to help the people that my words might have hurt. And how did you help them? Hmm? Maybe in the next sentence you can say, and so here's what I've done to help those I've hurt. You didn't help anybody, Colleen. All you did was throw people under the bus that became your enemy. You didn't help shit. Instead, you took your shitty Miranda Sings overdone lipstick tour on the road and had kids reach into your pants. That's what you did. Okay. Again, when you are a terrible person on one side and you're a terrible person all around, changing a quarter of your terrible shit doesn't make you a good person. Okay? You haven't worked on anything, Colleen. You just shifted it. What a weirdo this lady is. How the F did this person get famous?
These things are being brought to light because some people are upset with me for not addressing something that happened a few weeks ago. Someone go. had made a video saying some shocking and hurtful things about me and a lot of you wanted me to address it and I didn't. I didn't address it. Not You addressed it in private though to his friends, your fans, and your weird group of assassin teenagers. I don't know what you want to call them, okay? What are they called again? The, the, the wienerettes? I don't know what. That's what you did. So don't go there. And all the receipts are out there now, Colleen. And she's honestly, to this day, this shit is hitting the fan right now. And it's, a, it's not even at its peak yet, I guarantee you. And she is ignoring it like nothing's going on. She is in her comment sections all over her social media. Is hired, it's not her doing it, someone else doing it. Deleting every single negative comment. Corey, whatever his name is, is probably doing it. Okay? She is in overtime right now, deleting comments. Instead of turning comments off, which would absolutely show guilt she is absolutely deleting comments so do me a favor if you leave a comment take a screenshot of it okay if you're already shadow banned on her channel you can take a screenshot it no one else will see it so if you've got two accounts or you open up youtube on a you know a, a private browser leave your comment in your in the normal browser and see if it populates in the private browser and if it doesn't populate in the private browser it means that you're shadow banned from her channel no one can see it but if you haven't been shadow banned leave the comment Open it up in the browser, make sure it was shown, take a screenshot, and then when they delete it, take a screenshot. I'm just saying, take a record of it. Because why are they deleting everything if she's not nothing to worry about? Because I was just ignoring it and hoping it would go away, but because when this person messaged me letting me know they were upset, I responded immediately. I was very shocked and confused. I expressed I didn't know what they were talking about, and I also expressed frustration that they were trying to bring my son's name into their drama. They Mm-hmm. And we talked about this that yesterday. If you're confused about what happened, just go watch the video yesterday. So she, he said something that she took personally about my son, and then obviously she's just defensive, and she's she's in defense mode, right? She's not in a place where she's going to be thinking properly, so everything is going to be compounded and, and like very much explosive in her world. So he says something, oh, how dare you say that thing? And then she'll take that because that's the deflection tactic she's using. Instead of answering for the shit that she did, he said something that she took and she tried to deflect away from the main topic. That's, def that's just classic deflection. That's all that is. And she's really good at deflection. We've seen that now, okay? She's so good at it. And she's deflected in many more ways too, like paying the people that, like Adam, saying, hey, I'm gonna bring you down for the comic, for what's it called? the. YouTube con I don't know what these things are called and deflected away from that deflecting when she was supposed to meet him at the place in Dublin didn't do it deflected she's just a deflector she nothing it's never her fault but then when you say something oh how dare you say something about my son or whatever and we talked about that in the video yesterday and I received a message from this person's mother asked so she doesn't show the message before but basically takes advantage of Flynn I think Adam might have said Colin you take advantage of your son by exploiting him on the internet which I agree with that's what I started covering her for um what are you talking about what does Flynn have to do with anything how dare you bring my son into your drama I didn't say anything about you I've never been anything but nice to you I haven't said one word about you. I'm not going to argue with you or talk smack about you. I wish you well and have always appreciated your support. But bringing your son into your drama is too far, Adam. Bringing my son into your drama is too far, Adam. So there, that's the deflection technique. That's the, the teenager style, the childish way to address the problem is to not address the problem is to like deflect because oh how dare you say this thing. And what you do is you try to make them feel guilty for saying something so then you're talking about something different, right? It's just classic narcissism and she's bad at it. This is Adam's mom. It's not nice when your child is brought into things, but if you had if you had read it correctly, you would have seen he wasn't he wasn't and it was a comparison that was being made. Mother to mother and you may now understand. Never speak my son's name again and tell your sidekick the same applies to him. One thing I did miss that Adam did say, because I was looking up some videos while he was talking, and I apologize to this to Adam, um, is that he did say that this guy was flirting with him too, inappropriately to a minor. So don't ever forget that happened. But this is when Adam's mom kind of stepped in. And remember now, we now have the receipts of everything going on behind the scenes. I haven't said one word about you, she said. We now know that that's absolutely a bullshit lie. She said plenty of words about him and weaponized those remaining stands, like that Cody, whatever her name is, to go do videos about him. She said lots of words about him. Maybe not on her channel, but she did. She has power. The power dynamic existed over these other stands that she had. A lot of them were young and teenagers, and she did, she did, she did. So she's lying in that text message. And because she's just shit, and he's right, she's not clever, she's not smart. She's just gotten away with it this long, because she, because, I don't know!
for me to not speak his name. So I was trying to respect the mother's wishes and the parents' wishes of this 17 year old. But it has gotten to a point where there are so many rumors and- Were you trying to respect the wishes by going behind his back and now all the receipts? Were you trying to? Why didn't you delete this video? Colleen, why did Because again, it would be guilt. She would, if she deleted this video, it'd be guilty. I'm glad she didn't, but that's it. She just lied to you, everybody. She's lying. And we have the proof. The receipts matter. The internet's forever. Lies and speculations going around. I feel like I need to address it. I do have receipts proving the things that I'm about to tell you. However, I feel uncomfortable sharing them because he is a minor. So I'm only going to be showing you the things that were between adults or things that were already public. And remember what Adam said. Now we have hindsight. So she's like, I'm not willing to throw shade at a 17 year old, even though she just sort of did. So anything that said was between me and another adult. The adult being that dude's mom, you moron. <laughs> the biggest issue that came from his video is that I sent a child underwear. And wow, anyone who <laughs> heard this out of context. Clutch my pearls. You did, asshole. Are you, I don't even know what she's about to say here, but I'm pretty sure she's about to say, no, I didn't. And was offended. I completely understand because I would be too. But in this situation, context is everything. So oh. I would like to give you some context to this situation. Is Okay, before you give me the context the lie that you're about to tell us is as a parent out there and this is a question for parents okay is there any context that would exist where a 31 or 32 year old woman 33 year old woman is sending your teenage son lingerie is there any context that would exist where you'd be like yeah okay totally makes sense to me would there be any context that you would accept no none I'm sorry, but let's hear it anyway, shall we? Four years ago, I did a live stream, and in this live stream, I did a giveaway. I was giving away clothes that were unused, tag still on, brand new, that I had just bought, but I did not. Just say what the clothes are. Again, you're being disingenuous. You're deflecting. The clothes were a panty and a bra, a see-through one at that, lingerie. Sex underpants is what they are, okay? Let's be real. Deflection matters. Your words matter. If you're going to take accountability like you're trying to do in this video, be real. It was inappropriate what I did. I was wrong. The end. Move on. That's it. That's all you have to say. There's no context here. One of the items that was in this box was a really ugly pair of underwear. As soon as we pulled them out, Corey and I started laughing and joking around about how we know we all saw it. Ugly they were. Why did I buy these ridiculous underwear? It was so stupid. I just got big old box from Forever 21 and I want to open it up in front of you guys. Maybe I'll send the ones I don't want to you guys. I got a bunch of crop tops. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> the panties, the panties from <laughs> And people. Okay, so she didn't show the rest where she's like, I'm going to send it. People started asking for them in the live stream. Everyone wants that bra. You want the bra? Everyone wants the bra. At the end of the live stream, I was done giving away clothes. And then this boy who made this video about me recently, he asked for the underwear. Yay, we picked people. I think that's enough. Did that boy win these or not? I don't know. He has to tell me what he wants. What did he say? Is he being <laughs> He said, um, hi, you have ugly clothes, but I want those ratchet panties and bras signed by Corey because he modeled them well. Yeah. <laughs> it was so ridiculous and funny. We laughed about it and I forgot to send them to him. And you f no, you didn't. What? Also, don't ever forget that she's missing a ton of context here. So here's our, here, let's add some context to her shitty context, okay? You're 30, whatever. At this point, you're probably 28, 29 years old. All right, cool. You're having conversations with teenagers on a live stream. You're a full grown adult sending your clothing to teenagers on the internet. Nope, just don't do that. I mean, right? Maybe you should have said, I shouldn't have done that. Eventually, he tweeted me asking me for sis. Where's my panties from the live stream? Haha, ha, they're up there at my house. I forgot to bring them. I'll ship them to you when I come home. So she's putting her own proof on her own video that she shipped lingerie to a minor. <laughs> I mean, just like, thanks. All the lawyers that are on Adam's side. Thanks for this, I guess. Thank you. <laughs> Them again, I sent them to him. He put them on over his clothes and posted about them. It was like a big joke within the fandom. There we go. Hear this. This is so interesting and weird and shitty. So this is when Adam realized that he was being the, she went in the chat during this whole time period during this video was made before and after all this stuff. Fine. I want all the dirt on Adam. I want that video of him wearing it, laughing about it, blah, 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 because she thinks that it's like, see, look, it's all innocent. It doesn't matter what you think. 
Okay? It really doesn't. And it might have been innocent, even in your brain, in your heart, all that stuff. You might have been like, that's just a joke. And maybe it was. I don't care, man. You don't get to do it. Because, and just, again, reverse the genders here. If it was a 30, 29-year-old dude sending a 14-year-old girl his underwear, holy shit. The whole channel would have imploded, exploded. But because it was her doing it, no problem. You double standard assholes out there. I did this publicly. That live stream is still up right now. And I've always given out weird, random things in live streams. I've given out a taco costume. I've given... Okay. Doesn't matter what you gave out. At this point, you gave out lingerie to a minor. That's it. That's all that matters. That's the context we need. It doesn't matter. I don't give you gave away a house. I don't care if Mr. Beast came in. You guys did it. Hey, we're giving shit to everybody. I don't care, man. This one thing matters. Might have been a lapse of judgment. It doesn't matter. Dumb. Now, old bobby pins, dirty shoes. Uh, a few weeks ago, I sent a fan like a single piece of toilet paper. I've so here's now she's doing is diluting the actual point so that you forget about the initial thing. So I did all these things, and blah, blah, deflection, 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 deflection. I don't really want to talk about it. But I sent some bobby pins. Oh, no, this is shit, man. You sent a minor underwear that were yours. Enough said. Always giving away weird stuff. And so in my mind at the time, this was no different than all the other weird stuff I send to my fans as a joke. Uh, it's way different. Do you send other fans that are minors your underwear? If so, then that's also wrong. It's not the same thing. And again, she's trying to say, look, it's the same. I sent somebody some shoes. Nope. Also, maybe just don't send anybody. And then she talks about her fandom, which is the big weird part. And the whole fandom. This is her little glee club that she has that she talks to and communicates in private with. Most of them being young and a lot of them being minors. And she admits it out loud. Now, in hindsight, I see how completely stupid of me. I should have never sent that. I don't know what part of my brain was missing at the time that I thought, oh, this. Maybe that was Miranda Singh's part of your brain doing it. This is a normal. Could blame her. Normal silly thing to do. I should have realized and recognized how dumb that was and never sent it to him, no matter how much he asked. Here's what might be happening. Maybe you're getting some toxic poisoning from the Miranda Sings lipstick that you overshoot, like Kardashians do, and it's like seeping into the skin, and then neurotoxic neurotoxins are coming to your brain, making you make shitty choices. Could have said that, it would have been more believable. No joke. But it was never a sneaky, creepy, gross thing that I was doing in secret. It was. It doesn't matter the context again. And how do we know that? Because now that we have the text messages and the receipts of everything that were going on in those chats, yeah, it was kind of creepy and gross. Because if you're asking for his ass pics, if you're talking to kids about their periods and like how it was like, that's inappropriate, I'm sorry. Don't, not to teenagers, not your place to talk to teenagers about periods. Talking about sex, well, you know, what's your favorite position to teenagers? So we have all these receipts that line up with you being this type of person, okay? And so I don't care what you say here, because we have evidence that we have evidence that contradicts what you're saying right now. So yeah, you did. Sorry. And you don't and you don't get to say otherwise. It doesn't matter what you say. We have evidence of you doing the other thing. So if you are doing if you are doing shit like this to minors, no matter what you do, it's gonna be amplified now and it is going to have the wrong thing in our head. We're gonna think the wrong thing, and we are welcome to think that because of the evidence of the shit that you've done already. Right? Everybody understand that? All the classes in, all our listening ears are on. Okay, let's continue. A silly, stupid mistake that now is being blown way out of proportion. No, it's not. It was not blown way out of proportion. You survived this. It wasn't blown out of proportion enough. Not even close. Not even close. And we now know again, I'll have to repeat it, that in the back end of this whole timeline you're in right now where you're saying this shit, you were doing some shit. He also mentioned in his video that his mom was uncomfortable with me, which was surprising and shocking for me to hear. Clutch the pearls. I was always under the impression, due to the things he told me and the things that I saw on the internet, that she not only was aware of our interactions, but she was very supportive of him being a fan of mine. She commented on a... Odd that a teenager would lie to their parents about a weird adult relationship they had with someone online. Odd. That's super odd. <laughs> you idiot. It doesn't matter what you think. If a teen... <laughs> Holy shit, I can't believe I have to say this out loud. If you're speaking with a teenager in having these types of conversations with them, like, to the t like adult conversations with them, okay? And you're like, do you tell your mom about this? And they're like, yeah, totally. Then you just believe them? First of all, don't have these types of conversations with teenagers is the first thing that should come to everybody's mind. And I'm pretty sure this day she probably still does this, okay? 
don't <laughs> and she's like yes yeah, so i just took it at face value like totally i totally believe this teenager <laughs> i'm sorry you're stupid photo of him this year at my show saying how it was such a fun night she gave him a birthday card when he was 16 with me on it and he let me know multiple times how much his parents loved me and watched my videos so this was surprising for me to hear because if i had known that i would have stopped all interactions no you wouldn't have you didn't believe you're such a liar. And now I know why Adam wants an apology, because this is her throwing Adam's mom under the bus, saying, look, it's all her fault. She's not parenting properly. She didn't keep track of his DMs and all this stuff. How is how is the predator... I mean, isn't this a typical predator behavior? Isn't this grooming behavior, as far as I'm concerned? Aren't they... Don't they cast dispersions to their young victims? Isn't this how this really works, everybody? Don't tell your mom about this thing. If you do it, you know, I'll, this could happen. This could happen. There's the ramifications that could happen. She's deflecting the blame onto this other mother, right? And, in, oh, I would not have done this if my mom didn't know you. Really? You're such a liar. There's some grooming shit going on here. And she got away with it, everybody. Just uh, take a drink whenever I say this. Just reverse the genders. Cool? All right him if I ever knew his parents were uncomfortable. Another thing I think is important to address from his video is that he did have access to my Miranda Sings Twitter account for one day, um, not for Miranda Sings one, two, three years. And I want to just go over how that whole situation went down over the years. I've loved So I don't know what she's going to say, but now I know what Adam said. Adam got her password. She's like, look, I'm so busy. Just go do it. And he said that she approved everything he did. So we now know that, right? He did all these things. She approved it all. That's all you need to know going into her now context, okay? Now we know the context. Asking my fans for advice on what I should post for Miranda videos, Miranda tweets, things like that. Quite honestly, you guys are the funniest people that I know, and I love your advice. I love your input. Also known as, I love stealing all of your ideas to make money off them. She's admitting this shit out loud, everybody. Oh my god! I've taken a handful of suggestions as to what I should tweet as Miranda from my fans over the years, and he's included in a hand I used a couple a of- A handful?! <laughs> no. More like heaping giant buckets, dump trucks full. How about that? I handful F off. Again, there it is. Diminishing and deflecting. His tweet ideas many years ago, they did really well. He was super funny. And there she goes admitting they did really well. She made money on that shit. It made her bigger, probably gained a lot of followers, probably went viral on those tweets. That is shit that he did that helped her career. And he got paid this for it. Actually, no, he admitted he got paid some dirty lingerie. Yay! Since then, he's asked me multiple times if he can help me out with social media again. Liar. You've asked him. Okay? Or in some way coerced him. This is a person that's very manipulative. Okay? I wouldn't be surprised if she manipulates those people to think that they're the ones asking to help. That's groomer shit, man! I always thought that was really, really sweet, but most of the time I did not engage in those conversations until recently. A couple months ago, he reached out to me and brought up the fact that the Miranda accounts hadn't been as active as they used to be. And this sounds like an apology video to you. This sounds like a holy shit, everybody else is to blame but me video. Now he wanted to help me do more social media stuff. So he sent me a whole bunch of edited photos that he had in a folder ready to go for Miranda. He told me about a bunch of funny tweets he wanted to post mm -hmm, and he let mm -hmm, me know that he mm -hmm, had experience working mm -hmm. in social social media. Mm -hmm. He really vetted for himself. And because I'd known him for so many years, I was over exhausted and I don't have all the time I used to have to run all my social media. I thought, you know what, this mm -hmm. might be a good situation to test run this. And, and there you go. She's saying all this lead up shit. And all you have to do is like, yes, I agreed to it. I gave him my password and he did the thing I asked him to do. Really? Why are you saying all this shit? Just... <laughs> He was, he said it and you just admitted it. You did that. You made that choice, dumbass. Is she literally sitting here as a 33 year old woman in this video saying like, I mean, I shouldn't have trusted a teenager. You know, he vetted for himself. She said the words, he vetted for himself. Oh my gosh. See if this could work out. This wouldn't be the first time I had hired a fan. I love hiring my fan. Now she's lying again. You didn't hire them because you didn't pay them. What do you mean hire them? for many reasons. You mean steal their ideas and then make money and then don't pay them? Is that what you meant to say? Okay, good. One, they're super freaking talented. Two, they know me better than anybody. And three, I love supporting their dreams and passions in any way that I can. How? How are you supporting their dreams and passions by not paying them, by stealing their shit, by convincing them to do work for you and not paying them? You didn't pay them. Admit it here. You, maybe she should have said, and I paid them, so they made money. How do you support their dreams by stealing their shit? What? 
I've hired my fans to design merch, I've hired fans to go on tour with me, I've hired fans to edit things for me, and how hiring my employees works is I usually do a little- uh, You keep saying that word hiring. I don't think you th know what that word means. <laughs> hiring implies that you're going to pay somebody for some work they do for you. You didn't pay anybody. So you didn't hire them. Again, they volunteered, I guess, you could say that. You didn't pay them shit test run to see how it goes. If it goes well, then I hire them officially through my company and they are paid legally through the corporation. It was no different for him. I wanted. He said he never got paid. So I guess that's a he said, she said thing. She's going to have to come up with receipts, receipts for that shit. To do a little test run. If it went well, then I wanted to hire him. So I gave him access to my account and he started tweeting stuff for me. And pretty quickly, there was a tweet that was posted that was problematic. This was my fault. He sent me a very long... That's all. This whole video right there. That's all you had to say, everybody. This was all my fault. Thanks. Come back to see me next week. <laughs> do you ever hear what the lead up was to this whole thing? This, 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 and this. He vetted for himself and other than I paid him. Blah, 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 but this was my fault. Then why did you say all that shit leading up to that phrase? Again, parents, you know what I'm saying, right? You know what I'm saying? List of a ton of different things he wanted to post, and I did not look over it closely enough. I did not review it closely enough. I remember the moment when I saw all of these things. I was breastfeeding my son, and I kind of just scrolled through, and I was like, yeah, go for it. Have fun. Why did you say that? I'm a mother, remember, 14, 12, 13 years ago, 17 years ago when I was three, and I was breastfeeding. We don't care. The context you're putting in there doesn't do anything. It doesn't mean shit. You approved it. You also said it's your fault. That's all that needs to be said here. Why add all this shit? And I trust you. And when he posted it, I put zero blame on him at all. It was... No, you absolutely blamed him. My fault. I knew better. So then why did you admonish him if it's your fault? You shouldn't have said anything. Should have deleted the tweet. Hey, guys. Super inside, you know, mistake shouldn't happen. My bad. No, you admonished him. You did blame him. And to let someone else tweet for me. I should have reviewed closely every single thing that was going to come out of Miranda's mouth. I let him know that I loved him. He did a great job. It was my fault, not his. I uh, nope. Publicly apologized for the tweet. I deleted the tweets that were posted that weren't posted from me. I let there it is. There it is. Dilution and deflection. This is what she does. Oh my God, all this thing is, it's totally my fault. Hey, I didn't post those. Don't forget guys, 1200 years ago, BC, I didn't post those tweets. If you're gonna say it's your fault, then own up to it. Don't then say things like, I didn't post it though. So if, what are you apologizing for? You're like, it's my fault, then it's your fault. Then take the blame and then don't say things like, I didn't post it. Doesn't matter if you didn't. You guys hearing, I, has anybody ever taking this down in the granular level like I'm right now. She is not serious right now. She can't be. How do people ever believe this shit? I know that I was upset that people were disappointed in me. And then he said he logged out of the account and that was the end of it. That was the last I heard from was him it? until he sent me the message saying he was really upset with me. And that is when I then responded and got the message from his mom. I That's also a lie. Just go watch yesterday's video. She's lying. She, I mean, of course, this video is a big, giant ass lie and deflection, so I don't have to keep saying it. So from this point forward, everything comes out of this lady's donut hole is a lie. Just like I care about all my fans that I've interacted with over the years, and I wish him nothing but success and happiness and love. I don't know what he's going through right lie. now, but lie. I don't want him to hurt anymore. He Shut up. Made it very you want him to hurt, and you did things behind the scenes to make him hurt. So what do you, why, why lie? Now that phrase right there, all you have to do is take that phrase she said, put it, clip it out, put a little slow motion, ready? So you can hear it again and then compare it to the things that happened now with the receipts that we have. That's all you have to do because she's a liar and she's caught, definitely caught clear in his video that he wants to move on from this and be separated from this whole situation so let him have that and let me have the same it absolutely breaks my heart no you're the adult here see people saying negative things about me interacting with my fans based on this situation minors just say minors you're you're interacting with minors as a person that is famous and they idolize you just say what it is. Don't just say it, my fans. If it's a bunch of ladies your own age, whatever, okay, fine, they're adults, cool. But they were minors, lady. You're st that's weird. That's why she, that's, that's, now that is a diminishing. She's diminishing what she actually did by saying my fans.
It's minors. I love talking to my fans. I love interacting. I love to. So every time she says my fa so replace every time she says fans with minors, okay? Acting with my fans. My fans are many different ages. So yes, there are some teenagers, but there's also adults. I love. Soon as you say, but yes, there's teenagers. That's it. That's it. That's okay. Fine. Nope. No more after that. Doesn't matter if there's adults. You said yes. You interact with teenagers. Are you sure you meant to make this video? Did you run it by anybody else? Not just your teenage. What are they called? You can. Teen wieners? I don't know what they're called. Supporting them, supporting their passions, learning about them in the same way that you like to do that for me. What are their passions? Their favorite sex positions? Is that a passion of theirs that you want to know about? Mm-hmm, interesting. Me, you aren't just my fans, you're my friends. We all have seen me cry way too many times on this channel about things I probably should have kept to myself. I definitely overshare, and I have definitely overshared with fans when they have asked me what's wrong, or asked me how I'm feeling, or try to console me when I'm feeling down. I definitely have overshared in the past with them, but what she's saying, she's like, what she's saying is two things here. Yes, I've overshared. So if anything comes up in the future, it's because I overshared. And I admitted I overshared. But then what she's saying she overshared with is that she told them too much. Right? That's what she's saying. But not the other shitty grooming type shit. But she's saying that so she can say, look, I already addressed this shit. What do you, what do you want me to do? I said I overshared. No. You had sexual conversations and asked for pictures from minors of their butt and asked them about their sex positions and periods. There's probably more that I haven't even seen yet. So I'm sorry. It ain't going to work here. And talked with them a little too much when I should have kept things to myself or talked to family or close friends instead. There are plenty of other stupid mistakes I've made in my past that I've learned from and grown from. There are plenty of other jokes I've made in my career that seemed appropriate at the time, but now I realize were never appropriate to begin with. I've learned from these things and You I have not learned from them. You're such a liar. I will continue to learn from them and grow from them to become the best me that I can possibly be. Well, which me are you talking about? This one, the other one, Miranda Sings, one, and I don't know. Which me? I don't know. Wh who, which me are we talking about? I've lived my life on the internet for you guys all to watch for over 12 years. I love my job. My job. But one of the difficult parts of my job is that I am very much put underneath a microscope and any and all mistakes I ever make are definitely shown and blasted to thousands and sometimes millions of people. You chose this path, lady. You make millions and millions and millions of dollars. You've bought multiple mansions doing it. You travel the world doing it. Okay, you have more money than most people will know what to do with in a lifetime. Okay, you experience fame and fortune. You chose this shit. Don't go all woe is me. I'm under a microscope. So what? You don't have to be. Get off the internet. What an idiot, man. Every time I hear an influencer say, it's so hard being an influencer and all the money I make, and I, I can leave. Go do something else, man. She could legitimately retire right now legitimately never have to work never have to work a day in her life she could get off the internet right now and live comfortably wealthily for the rest of her life without being on the internet that's how much money she has so leave dumbass all over the world but she is so chronically online she is so addicted to the fame she will never right so i don't want to hear you complain because all y'all have to do, complain about the shit life that you have on here, is leave. You have 100% control over it. It's not an easy thing to deal with. However, I'm really grateful for that. Over the past 12 years, you guys have been really wonderful, helping me learn and grow to be a better person. Shut up. You've given me helpful critiques, educated me when I was ignorant, told me how to say things more appropriately, and I can't even tell you how grateful I am for that because of you. You are not grateful for that. You hate people who tell you the truth i have become a better person the person you are <laughs> so every time she says that you know you know without beyond the shadow of a doubt while she's saying i am a better person now she was not a better person while she's saying this she's literally texting her teenage stands and doing all the shit she was doing while she's saying i'm a better person she was actively not being a better person she's being a worse person I am today as a 33 year old mother is not the person I was when I started YouTube so many years ago. But over the last month, I've received a lot of criticism that isn't the type of constructive criticism I've received over the last decade. It is more just hateful and cruel. And the things that are being said about me are absolutely her true. They're absolutely true. And you deserve it. They're true now. And there's receipts and proof for it. So what are you saying? You don't deserve it. You do deserve it. You deserve it and more. What are you saying?
You're an idiot. Horrendous. No, I should have never sent a fan underwear. How stupid am I? No, I definitely should have never given him access to my Twitter account. And no, I shouldn't have talked to him as often as I did. But I And yet you did and then continued to do it afterwards. I am not a monster. I am not a groomer. Mm-hmm. That's where this all comes to a head. That's why she did this video. Uh, she is so adamantly saying, I am not a predator. I am not a groomer. How dare you guys say those things? Because that's the deflection and the diminishment of her argument. She's so scared to be called those things. She's so scared to be called those things because of all the evidence that we actually have of it. And all that is yet to come out. You know, there's, if there's, if all the things that we're seeing now is out, you know that there's way more. So this is what I say on this channel all the time. If you have to say the thing, you're not the thing. She is so adamantly saying that she's not that because she's so scared to be called that. Because maybe she's taking stock of her behavior and saying, holy shit, I can actually see why they think that now. And maybe she has to look internally and say, oh my God, is there something wrong with me? Go see a therapist, may I suggest? Yeah, okay. Because that's what she's, that's the, that's it. Right there, what she just said, that's what this whole video was made for. So she could say adamantly, beyond a shadow of a doubt, I am not that. How dare you? But you are that based on the shit that we've seen. And I shouldn't kill myself. Be careful with the words you choose to use because I have learned time and time again that words definitely matter and your words can hurt people and they can affect people in a very negative way. And I just hope that that's a lesson we can all learn in this situation. I never meant to cause anyone who feels affected by this any pain. No, you, do, you never meant to get caught for your shitty behavior. That's what you meant to say there. I'm just, I'm just doing the Colleen you know, translations for you guys, just because I'm, I hear it. I know all these influencer shitty things that they're saying. I'm just, it's going through and I'm translating for you. It's a service I provide. We're in the middle of a global pandemic and it is scary. And I just want to say, I am so sorry if this situation made any of you feel more stressed or uncomfortable or sad than you already do. Liar, because then you went in the chat and you added stress and drama to the whole thing. You still did to this day, like leading up to now. So you aren't sorry. You went right back to the old ways after making this video. You, and again, this likely helped her because she's still on the internet making millions. But I think that ship is about to sail. Choo-choo. Or a boat. That's a train. Whatever. You know what I'm saying. Because of all the horrible things that are currently going on in our world. I love you guys. Thank you so much for taking the time. Did she just say, hey guys, there's a pandemic. So like, forget that I'm a groomer, okay? There's so much more things to worry about. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> she just said that. Yes! I'm to watch this and I will see you very soon. Shut your hole, you dumb, dumb head. <laughs> wow, that was way more eye opening than I thought it was going to be. And I should just cover a whole slew of every time an influencer has had to sit down and do an apology and just shred that shit to shreds. You know what I'm saying? Shred it to shreds. Because they all say the same shit and you can see right through their lies. And now again, we have, but in this instance, we had hindsight. We knew that she went above and beyond in those chats after this video specifically during this whole time and really, really did try to ruin this guy's life. So no matter what she said in that video, we knew she was actively doing everything she said she wasn't doing in this video. So receipts suck for Colleen today. That's for damn sure. This stuff is not getting easier. It's only going to blow up. I hope way bigger creators start jumping on this. This woman does not deserve to have her platform. If anything, she deserves to be arrested, in my opinion, or looked at very closely. And here's how you determine that. Reverse the genders. Right? Okay. I'm glad we're there together. You and I. Just synergy and shit. Colleen, F off. All right? You're dumb. Everybody, take a deep ass breath. Whoo! Colleen's in some trouble, yo! You liar. But you guys aren't liars. You're amazing, incredible, just beautiful, gorgeous, like stunning. The summer is hitting you nicely, right? Just glow and stuff, but wear sunscreen because you don't want skin cancer, right? Be careful out there, but have fun. Have a great summer. If you have kids out there, make sure they're busy and having fun, but maybe, you know, sunscreen all the time. All the time, all right? Lots of water. Lots of fun, lots of watermelon, some freezies and stuff. Have some fun. You guys are amazing. Thank you for being here for these conversations. Don't fly flare American Airlines. Right? Don't forget to subscribe either, and I'll see you tomorrow.